Welcome to Healthy Moments. This is a show where I digest health across brand new news and beyond. This week, I'd like to start off with some interesting results I found on my x-rays that I never knew about. Normal people have five lumbar vertebrae. I have four and a half. My L5 vertebra, which is the bottom vertebra, has fused with my sacrum, which is called the sacralization of the fifth vertebra. I don't have my x-rays today, but I did find some pictures of the sacralization online, so they should be up floating around all over the place. As you can see, this is not entirely uncommon, and it happens in the prenatal stages of development. So, three, two, one, let's get started with the news. First up in branded news, researchers find a link between menopause, obesity, and breast cancer. The new study shows that weight loss directly lowers hormones that are associated with breast cancer. Most women who develop breast cancer after menopause have a specific estrogen-sensitive type breast cancer, and losing weight will help with this. It can cut the risk of this type of breast cancer by as much as 50%, which is huge. The story finishes off by saying that the evidence is conclusive, but yet not abundant. So they're going to have to do more testing to be more absolute with their findings. You may not know that prostate cancer is the most common form of cancer found in men. Now, most of us men dread the day that we turn 40 and have to have our first thumbs up exam, uh, which is the more common and quick form of prostate exams. There is a sonogram version, but the type of testing that this article talks about is the PSA, which is a prostate-specific antigen blood test. A government panel with an acronym that's longer than three letters found that this test would only help maybe one out of a thousand men, and they deemed it as not necessary at any age. Urologists are the type of doctors that are fighting back against this because they believe that this test is actually very necessary. Dr. Oz did a great episode on prostate exams. I put a link in the description below and I might have an annotation somewhere up here. So definitely check it out. The next article is one that I hold really close to heart and that is about a Miami school district that has zero dollars in their budget for physical education and health awareness. This is both shocking and exciting for me because I can use the YouTube platform in order to give them some free education. If I could make a one major contribution to society, that would be rebuild the physical education programs in public schools. They really need to focus on three points. The first being a healthy cardiopulmonary system. The second, which is crucial, is a strong core and stabilizing posture. This will prevent back aches and all sorts of uh, injuries. Thirdly would be introducing the concept of the art of motion, refining complex motor skills and keeping kids interested so they later on pursue other athletic directions such as dance and acrobatics, martial arts, as well as more common sports. I'll be happy to work with anybody in the healthcare industry or my team in building a better physical education program. All you have to do is ask. Last in Brandon news, there was an amazing medical feat accomplished in Israel where they were able to turn skin cells into heart cells. And what the repercussions of this are is that we will be able to repair heart failure from the inside out. This was done by adding three genes and adding valproic acid into the nucleus. Now, I don't claim to be a genetic engineering specialist by any means, but I found this article really interesting and I had to share it with you. That's it for this week. Please participate in the discussions going on, on my Facebook and Twitter. Don't be a stranger. Subscribe. And as always, stay healthy, wealthy, witty, and wise, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.